Hello, I'm going to show you the examples that Babette supplies so you can get to know her. So at the Babette GitHub page, you can scroll down, you can click on the examples and you will see the examples um, in a markdown file. Um, what I find more fun is there's also in Vignette, so if I open the package up, uh, Babette, and you go to the folder Vignettes, there's a, a markdown file called examples which does exactly the same thing except now you're sure it really does something it also does a bit more like um, plotting the output right and uh, because it takes some time to run because it actually runs beast 2 I'm going to show you the results so I'm not gonna run it now I've already ran it for you and I will show, tell you a bit what uh, what's going on in the back alright so to load Babette you need to, well, to load Babette and for these examples so I already ran it so um, but for most people I make a, a shorter MCMC chain length so to create um, to set your MCMC options you can use you call the function create MCMC you can specify chain length which I set to 10,000 and you spec can specify after which amount of samples to store the results for param the, the parameter estimates and I store that uh, MCMC uh, option structure as MCMC right so most people that are familiar with beauty um, like you can load an alignment and you can then already save so when you use all the de default settings and you load a file called test output 0 a FASTA file uh, you can actually do that in um, Babette uh, easily you, you call runbeast 2 on the FASTA file using that MCMC option structure and then you get a posterior and that posterior uh, contains uh, estimates it contains trees I'll show that uh, that more below and it also contains um, uh, MCMC operator acceptance rates but I won't show those All right so posterior will be a list it contains three um, things three data frames one of them is called estimates which contains the parameter estimates and here we use ggplot2 to plot on the x-axis the sample index which is 0, 1000, 10,000 etc and as a y value we plot the birth rate estimates and so the runner so here we can see that it's nicely plotted the run is too short to be conclusive at all there's the burn in it needs to be longer effective some such is bad etc but this is how you do it like if I want to plot uh, the, the density, so Beast 2 has density supplied with it, you can just just use plot the density on the posterior, and then use dollar, and then the uh, name of the alignment uh, underscore trees. That's the thing that contains all the trees, and I use here width equals two to get a bit thicker lines. And this function called Fangorn in the back end, so it can do everything Fangorn does. One thing that's novel about Babette is that you can specify a fixed crown age. Uh, so I cannot make a screenshot there because it's not in beauty yet. But if you want to do so, then you need to call the function runbeast2 with a faster file and the MCMC uh, options. And then you specify posterior crown age, age equals, for example, 15. And then it keeps your uh, crown age fixed at 15. So um, I'm going to, so here it plots the birth rate again, it's exactly the same thing. You can see the, uh, the density tree, which, which really changes rather a bit. But let's do something different. So up until now we've used all the, the default uh, side models, clock models and tree priors. Now we're going to change the substitution model. So the substitution model by default, I think it's HKY. And here we're going to use Jukes Cantor 69. So what you need to do, you have need to call runbeast 2 on your faster file using your MCMC options. Now you have to specify side models equals create JC69 side model. Notice that there's an S here because it is also possible to put in multiple alignments and specify different side model per alignment. So side models, this whole thing, is one or more side models as much side models as there are alignments 
Alright, so create JC69 side models. It creates a default JuxCanto69 side models with all these same default values as Beauty does. Alright, so we can plot the birth rate like a yeah, just for giggles, uh, we can plot the, the tree again, which is, works exactly the same. We can also change the clock model, so it, uh, by default it's a strict clock model. If we want to create use a relaxed clock log normal, then we have to add clock models equals create relaxed log normal clock model, and then it gets exactly these same defaults. Of course, you can combine the things. So, so above we saw we uh, we see now to change the side model. Here we see how to change the clock model. You can do both at the same time. So you can write a side model equals Creature X Contour 69 uh, somewhere here, and it will also it will take both um, settings. All right, just for giggles, we plot the birth rate again, and we plot the uh, density again. Let's say now we're going to change the tree prior. So we've already changed the side model. We've changed the clock model. Now we're going to change the tree prior. So uh, by default, I think it's a Yule model. And all we need to change now is the tree priors. We have to use create birth death tree prior. And then again, it takes all these default values. And here we put birth rate again. And the density again. But let's say we want to do something different. So let's say we take the Yule model, which is by default. But what's not default is the uh, distribution behind the birth rate. So a Yule model has a birth rate and we can put in our priors on that birth rate. We can say, I think by default it's uniformly distributed from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity and all values are equally likely. So it's a uniform distribution. So let's say we want to change that to a normal distribution with a mean value of 1 and a standard deviation of 0.1. Well then we have to specify the tree priors again. This is the new thing, so of course we have our alignment and our MCMC options. But we have to create a Yule tree prior like always. But now we have to put stuff in between the, the curly braces because we're going to use a, a non-default Yule tree prior. So a true to create a Yule tree prior, you always need to supply a birth rate distribution. By default, it's the, the thing that Beauty 2 uses. But now we have to create a normal distribution. And the normal distribution has two parameters, a mean and a sigma. And to create a mean parameter, we have to create the mean parameter with a value of 1.0. And to create the sigma, we have to create a sigma parameter with a value of 0.1. And then we've set uh, the Yule prior with an uh, underlying birth rate distribution to be normally distributed with a mean of 1 and standard deviation of 0.1. You could argue like why don't you use mean equals 1.0? That is because um, for some um, you can also specify if these things need to be estimated or to be fixed for some parameters. Uh, so that's a, a common user interface so in this case. Uh, I think you cannot specify if it's fixed, but in some cases you can, so uh, that's why I use this uh, more general uh, user interface. Alright, again we plot uh, the birth rate, and we plot the density, yes, there it is. Alright, now we're going to use something uh, different, so we're going to change it, we're going to use a different side model, so by default it's a HKY side model, but by default it has a proportion invariant of, I think, 0.0. .0. And um, we were going to change it to 0.5. So we call runbeast 2 as always. We need to specify our alignment file. We put in our MCMC options. And as the side models, because it's one or more side models, we're going to create an HKY side model. And instead of the defaults that Beauty 2 supplies, we're going to put in something else. We're going to put in a gamma side model. So that's perhaps a bit unexpected to put in a that you have to create a gamma side model, but but all side models, you can see in the box you have a gamma side model and it goes like around f from here. So like Duke's Counter, HKY, GTR and TN93, all three, all four have a substitution of gamma cat count and a proportion invariant. They are the same, you can estimate them yes or no. Um, so this is the gamma side model part they all share. So if you want to modify the gamma side model part, you have to use the create gamma side model function to specify the gamma side model. 
So for the HKY, kappa of 2.0 is uh, default and estimated and the frequencies are estimated. That's not in there. Uh, you, I leave it empty. I don't specify those things here. But of the gamma side model, I'm going to specify that proportion invariance equals 0.5. So that's how you do that. And this would be exactly the same if you would use uh, a GTR or JC96 substitution model uh, because they also have this at the top. Alright, we're going to plot the birth rate again and the density. Now we are going to use a strict clock, which is the default thing, but now with a known clock rate. So we can, um, so we just change clock rate to 0.5. So in beauty, that's very easy. In a in Babette it's, it's just as easy. Again, you call runbeast 2 you put in your alignment file name, you put in your MCMC options. As a clock model, one or more clock models, in this case one, you create a strict clock model and instead of using the default, you set a clock rate parameter. You create a by creating a clock rate parameter with a value of 0.5. Then you can see that there's also this checkbox to estimate it yes or no. Uh, it's grayed out. Uh, but that's why uh, you don't use clock rate parameters 0.5 because also these estimates can be yes or no um, uh, to be used. Uh, we plot the birth rate again and the density again. Alright, now we're going to use something different. We're going to use two alignments. So we're going to use, uh, and, and uh, except for those, we're going to use exactly the same defaults. So one alignment is called Anthos Arco, the other Anthos ND2. And two, and when using all the defaults and the other tabs of Beauty 2, you just run Beast 2 with the two FASTA file names and your MCMC options. Alright, we can plot those. Um, I plot both the alignments, their birth rates, uh, so they're uh, different. And I plot both alignments, their densities. Right, you can of course use two alignments with different side models. They cannot be related yet, but they, you can put in different side models. So let's say that for the Anthos Echo, you want to use HKY, and for Anthos ND2, you use TN93. Well, you just run these two again on your two alignments, and now for your side models, finally we put in more than one side model, we have to create a list of the first side model and the second side model. And here I use all the defaults, but you can also elaborate on the, their options as we did before. And we can plot the posterior estimates again, and we can plot the two densities again. Alright, so those were, that was a walkthrough of all the Babette um, examples. So I hope um, you see how, uh, how fun she is to use. So um, I, hope, I hope you will enjoy her as much as I do and have a nice day.